Muhammad and Karim were in the same class in school. They did the same degree and went on to get the same job. Since getting the job, Muhammad started spending his money on sharpening his mind. He got a coach to help him in the gym. He bought a course on how to start his own business and another course on how to communicate confidently at work. Karim told him not to buy these courses and that they're probably scamming you. While he continued to live his nine to five life as normal on autopilot. Now, five years later, Muhammad is happily married and he got promoted quite quickly in his job because of the communication course he took. However, he's also going to quit his job because he's now able to focus full time on the business he was building over those years. Karim has only slightly moved up in his career and he's still unmarried because he doesn't have the confidence to move forward with that. And he's overweight because of his sedentary lifestyle and all the stopping and starting of different diets over the years. Now they went to the same uni, they got the same job and they're both 26 now, but in very different places in life. Assalamu alaikum. I came across this video of a middle-aged man giving terrible advice to young Muslim men and so I wanted to address it. Following this advice can potentially ruin your life so you'll want to listen very carefully. Now before we get into that terrible advice I should probably explain who I am. I'm Amin. I've been into personal development for about 10 years and that means taking courses, reading books and listening to podcasts, interviews about certain areas that I want to improve in my life. I've spent thousands of pounds on courses but by the way you can get my book for free in the link below. So what was this terrible advice that he was giving? He seemed quite emotional and frustrated and he was telling young Muslim men not to buy courses. He said, if you want advice, I'll give you advice for free and that's the way it should be. Advice should be given for free. So yes, I agree in a way, it is good to give advice. And if someone stops me at the masjid, in the street or in a cafe, I will and I have given advice in that way. I'm not gonna turn around, take out my bag, my card machine and ask them to pay me. Volunteering is great as well and it's something really encouraged in Islam. However, you, the one that gave the advice, will you really give me advice for free? What about the next guy that comes to you and the next guy and the next guy and the next guy until there are hundreds of people coming to you to get advice? Would you really be able to give all of us advice? No. At that point, you'd probably consider writing it down or recording a video or an audio of you giving that advice so you can scale the help and the advice you can give people, which sounds like a course. Also, if you insist on only giving advice for free, then you can only give advice in your free time, which means you can only give advice in your free time when you're not working, sleeping, eating, spending time with family. And so this advice kind of gets left to the end a little bit. And if you're getting paid to help people in a specific area, you could invest more in it, more time, as well as you could sharpen your mind on how you could give better and better and better advice for those people. You'd also be able to focus on spreading the word so you can give more amazing advice to more people over time. So imagine someone like this, they're giving you advice, helping you out so much. Would it not be from the etiquettes of a Muslim to pay them anyway, even if they weren't asking for it? So this point is obvious. To give advice, I need time, not just to answer the people's questions, also to invest in improving my skills and knowledge so I can help them more and more. And when you give a certain amount of time, it comes to a point where you're going to have to charge for it to then spend more and more time on it or you're going to have to always limit the help you can give because you're doing it in your spare time. And when a university has no funding, it can't give scholarships. The same to you. If you're not making money from it, then you can't give it for free. And then with all due respect, a lot of young men won't even ask you for advice unless you seem to be successful or skilled in a specific area. Yes, there is benefit to asking elder people for general life advice, but when we want help with a specific area, we go to someone who is successful in that specific area. If you're not successful, then your advice just won't be in demand. And so if we're going to go to successful people for advice, they will be quite busy, but also they will want to help people and invest time in people people who are actually going to implement and take it seriously. So there always have been traditionally ways of filtering out students. An easy way of doing that is getting people to pay to show that they're committed and they're serious. But other ways of doing this is like making sure that people have memorized the whole Quran before you will teach them. As they say, when people pay, they pay more attention. And yeah, if you've got nothing to lose, you've not invested anything in getting someone's advice, then how likely are you to actually go ahead and put the effort to implement that advice properly? There's also this strange contradiction where people have no problem paying like 27,000 pounds in the UK for a degree or 50 or 100K in the US. But if a Muslim is helping you or giving you advice and they wanna charge you 50, $100, a few hundred dollars for it, oh no, now the brother should give it to you for free. 
story. I've noticed something else. There are two types of people. People who act based on how the world should be and people who act based on how the world is. And it's the second group of people who tend to thrive because of instead of focusing on this should be like that, you should give advice for free. They're simply focused on looking for who's the best person to advise them and paying them to get that shortcut to get ahead in their goals. And just like you saw in the example at the beginning of this video, if you don't seek out people's help, you're not willing to go to the best, to pay the best, to get their advice, their tips, their strategies, then you are going to fall behind in life. And this stigma is all over the world that courses are a scam, but it seems especially strong amongst Muslims and I don't know why, but it's holding us back. And just like in the example I shared at the beginning of this video, if you hold this opinion that you should only get advice, help, training, coaching from people for free, then you'll be held back in life. And this idea that you're entitled to be helped for free will hold you back in life. By the permission of Allah, courses have changed my life. So I advise you to take courses, put the effort in, be fully committed, and inshallah, they will change your life as well. So if you're a Muslim man who's looking to make serious progress towards your goals, then this channel might be for you. And here are a few videos that you might enjoy. Assalamu alaikum. Love is so sweet, so